Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. It's time for another unboxing. We've got the Huawei MediaPad M5. This is uh, what a, one of kind of like a declining breed of tablets. This is an Android tablet and it's on loan from Huawei, hence their little note in there. Uh, and we're going to unbox it and unpack it now. So this has been unboxed before, but this is the first time we're unboxing it. Uh, this I believe is their 10 inch tablet. So it's a little larger than the eight inch one that they also have. And I thought they were sending me over both, but it looks like we just got the one here. So this is what it looks like. Pretty nice here, it feels really nice. They've got good build quality from Huawei. We were really impressed with the uh, laptop we looked at from them that we reviewed a few weeks ago with that AMD processor. So we'll see if there's any battery life in this thing and maybe boot it up, there it goes. Feels like it has some haptic feedback in here as well. Looks like the battery's dead, so we'll have to charge it up now. So we will do that momentarily. Uh, as far as stuff that's in the box, it's funny, sometimes they don't include all the stuff that I need from the review uh, units here, but it looks like we have a USB Type-C charging cable, uh, but no charger. It also looks like they gave us a headphone adapter here uh, because it looks like they might be following Apple's lead yep, and not having a headphone jack on this thing. So you will need to use that adapter or use some wireless headphones there because there is no headphone jack on this thing at all. Uh, oh, here's the power adapter. So looks like we're good to go to charge this thing up. And that is it that's in the box. It looks like it might support a keyboard case. It does have the pogo plugs here at the bottom, but we did not get that either. So we're gonna boot this thing up, see how it performs. We've been looking to see if there are uh, any tablets that kind of match what we seen, what we saw out of the Nvidia Shield tablet, the K1 tablet that uh, was the fastest Android tablet, but is now like three years old. So we're trying to see if there's anything that comes even close to that. So we'll put this thing through its paces and see how it does. Until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Stay tuned for a full review at Lon.tv. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.tv supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.